Hi. So in this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to create a pin dialog type authentication uh, and add that to your Ionic framework, uh, mobile Android and iOS application. So this pin dialog is actually a plugin. Um, it's a fork of one of the Apache Cordova dialog plugins, uh, but it allows you to input a numeric pin um, and then you can add further logic to see if that pin matches say something from your database or something that you've hard-coded uh, just something that you can authenticate against um, this does work for Android and iOS um, and it, it's 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 an interesting plugin I've, I've made something similar I've made a pure JavaScript implementation of a uh, pin screen in the past and you can see that on my blog already uh, but this is just more of a dialogue format using native dialogues. So with that said, um, also uh, in addition to the actual Apache Cordova uh, plugin itself, we're actually going to be using ng Cordova, which is an Angular JS extension set for Ionic Framework because we are using Ionic Framework in this example. Uh, with those two things said, let's go ahead and create a new project on our desktop. So we're going to say ionic start ionic project blank. So we're creating a blank templated project right on our desktop in this scenario. So it, it does take, a, depending on the specs of your computer, it could take a little while the first time. All right, so I created it on my desktop, so I'm going to navigate into it, and I'm going to go ahead and add the Android platform. Now again, this works for iOS and Android, but because Android is more heavily supported on multiple platforms like Windows and Mac, uh, I'm going to keep it easy and just do Android, because with iOS, you have to have a Mac in order to, to build for it. So since we just added the Android platform, Let's go ahead and add the actual plugin itself. So Cordova plugin add and then https github.com slash paldom slash pin dialog dot git. All right, the plugin is now added. Um, so I've already downloaded ng Cordova, it's on my desktop, so just go ahead and download it yourself, it'll be a zip file. Uh, inside that zip file, go ahead and find ng Cordova min, it's in the distribution folder. We're going to add that to the projects www and then js folder. ng Cordova min is going to sit right next to app.js. Alright, now it's time to go ahead and open up your project inside of your favorite IDE or editor. And we need to do two things in order to get ng Cordova working in our project. The first being add it to the index.html file. So in your index.html file, find cordova.js, the include for that, and we're going to add it right above it. It's very important that you do this above cordova.js, otherwise you're going to get very strange results. So save that. The second thing we need to do is we need to open up the JS folder and then app.js and we need to add it to the Angular module. Alright, so ng Cordova is now ready to go in our project. This leads us uh, to a few things here. It leads us to first starting by creating a new controller. This controller is going to be in charge of the pin dialog. So we're going to say controller, example controller, function. We're going to say scope. And we're also going to say ionic platform and Cordova pin dialog. So, I mean, so technically, I guess we don't need the scope because I'm not going to 
do any kind of uh, front end interaction. So let's go ahead and remove it. We don't need scope for this example. We do need Ionic Platform because this does use the native dialog plugin. Uh, and any native plugin or any, any plugin that uses native device code needs to be ready before using. And that's what Ionic Platform will do. So Ionic Platform.ready. And we're just going to wrap all of our code inside of this function. So the first thing that we want to do uh, before we start coding is we're going to create a hard coded password. So we're going to say var correct password equals, let's say, 1337. Now, you, of course, you could do it, you could read from a database and do your comparison. Uh, for simplicity, I'm just doing a hard coded password. Then, inside of our ready function, we're going to say Cordova pin, dial, pin dialog prompt. We're going to say enter a password. And then we're going to say then. And we're going to see our error and our success callback. So result is going to be our success callback. And error is going to be our error callback. So starting with this, we can say console.log json stringify error, and that will just print out our error object into our uh, command prompt or terminal. And then this is where our logic comes into place uh, upon the success. So we're going to say if result.input1 equals correct password, so if the user has entered uh, a pin that matches the 1337 variable that we set, then we're going to say alert password is correct. Otherwise, we're going to alert and say you entered the wrong password. All right. So. Uh, so this, this controller currently isn't hooked to anything, so it's not going to run when we run our app. What we need to do is we need to go back to index.html. Uh, in this particular example, we're going to go to ion content, and we're going to add ng controller example controller. So that way when our application starts up, it will immediately uh, bind the example controller to this tag. So go ahead and save and open up your terminal again. We're going to say Ionic build Android. All right, when that's successful, we're going to say adb install hyphen r, so that way it reinstalls it if it's already installed. We're going to say platforms Android build outputs, apk, and android debug.apk. And that installed it to our simulator, which I have running in the background here. I'm going to go ahead and open this. And immediately it says enter a password. So I'm going to say 1234, which is the incorrect password, and click OK. You entered the wrong password. So again, our logic is very simple here. Um, so I don't have it exit the application. I don't have it do anything uh, else other than saying that the password is wrong. In, in your scenario, you might want to force close the application or do something else. So I'm going to exit out again, and I'm going to reopen it. And I'm going to enter the correct password this time, 1337, and click OK. It says password is correct. So just like that, you saw how to use the uh, pin dialog, which uses native dialogs uh, in your Ionic framework, iOS, and Android application.